This is a walk in, through the woods in River Palm RV Resort between Zephyr Hills and Tampa. Now why they have a tractor right on the main entrance to the trail is beyond me. But it is a backhoe. And I have my little dog Spot with me. You've probably seen him in other videos. As we walk back this trail, you'll see a bunch of concrete chunks and different junk sitting around. Now if it was me, I would take that backhoe and dig a hole somewhere on this vast property and bury that stuff. Having it buried in the ground doesn't hurt anything. Now we're going to walk back through here a ways. The thing we have to watch for is rattlesnakes and wild hogs. There's a lot of wild hogs in this area. And they will attack you if you're not careful or you make them mad. There's more junk. So let's continue walking back. Here we come to a Y. And there's a lot of great, big, beautiful trees back in here. Let's keep going. Now here you got your tall grass. I have to watch real close to make sure Spot don't get close to a rattlesnake or something. There's a big beautiful tree on the left there. We'll take a look at it here in a second. And we come to more intersections. Spot's trying to figure out which way to go. A lot of times I let him lead. And who knows how old that tree is. It's been there forever. Of course these live oaks. I don't know if they make very good lumber. Because they're so crooked and curvy. The reason they call them live oaks, they always have leaves on them and they're always shedding, it seems like. Oh, there's my hand. Got a guide spot back here. And it's just recently they put these paths in, so it's kind of nice. And here on the left an old hog trap got some kind of door there and a fence around it you can barely see it it's all overgrown but that door is propped open somehow it gets tripped by the hog and they catch it in there when it rains this place is just absolutely flooded it's so level The field to the left there is a field for sprinkling sewage water back into the ground. I don't know how much it's treated. I think they treat it a little bit, but a lot of times it's got a bad smell to it. Here's a typical Tampa or Florida type woods. Palmetto bush bushes all through it. Palm trees, snakes, hogs, spiders. They got these giant spiders down there. They're about five inches across and they have their webs between the trees. Oh my God, you walk on one of them and one of those big old spiders get on you. There's another nice looking tree. Nothing like up north. Definitely a Florida thing. Or maybe I should say a southern thing. A spot was sick about a month ago, and I thought he was darn near going to pass away on me, but now he's feeling much better running around before he couldn't do that at all. And he's getting ready to do some puppy crazies. That's when he runs around in a circle, he don't know what to do. It's good to see him feeling better. There he goes.
I can't let him get too far ahead of me. Got to keep a watch out for, out for snakes. I really don't know how much they come back into these woods, but I got to think they do. Sometimes it's actually kind of creepy coming back in these woods. I usually carry bear spray with me. I don't know if that would stop a rampaging hog or not, but at least get his attention. This was about 7.30 in the morning. It's about 75 degrees out because lately it's been getting up to 97 degrees here every afternoon. You just can't walk around. It's so hot and humid. Here we're coming out into a little clearing. This is at the very edge of the park. There's the field sprinkling uh, wastewater. EPA got on about not keeping it mowed, so they have to keep it all mowed now. Why, I don't know. There's another hog pen off to the right there we'll take a closer look at in a minute. I should say hog trap, not a hog pen. And there's a little swamp lake off to the left. It's got about six, six inches of muck on it. It's really nasty. I don't know how anything lives in there. I guess gators do. A lot of gators around here. That's another thing I got to watch out spot. Don't get eight. And eagles. If I take him off the lead, darn eagles come down and try to get him. So I have to keep him on the lead. There's a hog trap. You can see the doors made to drop down. They had a picnic table and trash can back here, but I've never seen anybody use it. Too many mosquitoes. If you don't keep walking, you get ate by mosquitoes. They got mosquitoes down here so big the other day I seen one driving a Ford pickup. That was spooky. And over here to the left is a uh, canal. It's full of lilies. And I'm sure gators. I've seen trails coming up in and out of the canal up onto this flat that looked like uh, gator tracks would not want to go down in there you do see deer out here too and raccoons and opossums there's a swamp off to the right a lot of cypress trees in it and cypress knots. And we're almost at the end of our trail. And it comes back into a big wide opening and then back into the RV park. It is nice to walk back here, but you have to really be careful. Some people bring their golf carts back here, but I like to walk it. Plus, I don't have a golf cart. <laughs> and we're about finished, so I hope you enjoyed the video. We have plenty more, and we will talk to you later. Thanks for watching.